As a longtime fan of DC Comics and DC characters, there have been many comics that I've read that I would love to be adapted into animation or live action. And as time has gone on, that list has dwindled with adaptations of Gotham by Gaslight, Hush, The Dark Knight Returns, and Superman Red Sun, some of which live up to source material where others have fallen to new lows. But one has always remained, Injustice Gods Among Us, the comic based off of the popular video game. And now, finally in 2021, we get that adaptation. Hello Nerdgenic Nation, I'm your resident superhero nerd Aaron Waller, and in today's video we're going to be determining what the Injustice animated movie got right, what it got wrong, and give it a grade from 1 to 10. But first, let's talk about the positive. The animation of this movie, much like other DC animated films, was phenomenal. The portrayal of the suits from the comics and the video games were very well done and quite accurate to their source material. In addition, the reasoning for Superman's reign for peace too was very accurate to the comic and the story of Injustice with the Joker manipulating Superman into killing Lois Lane and his unborn child, thinking that they were Doomsday. This adaptation also ripped plenty of other iconic panels straight from the comic, such as Superman's end of Joker, Green Arrow protecting Harley Quinn, Batman's group of insurgents, and Superman's underwater prison. There's also a good mix of fight scenes and finishing moves seen in the video game. But sadly, that's where a lot of the good ends. Injustice tried to cram a gigantic story that spanned over five years in the comics into an impossible runtime of less than an hour and a half. The skill of this story had to sacrifice so much character development, amazing moments, and the inclusion of a laundry list of fan-favorite characters like Constantine, Zatanna, and others that made this film feel incredibly rushed. They even tried to shoehorn a variation of Dead Man after the death of Nightwing, which does happen in the comic, and call him Deadwing, which was probably one of the weirdest aspects of this entire movie. In the end, Injustice tries to service a massively complex story and awesome video game, but falters most of the time. Had they skipped the notion of cramming it all into one movie and doing several parts like other stories, such as The Long Halloween recently received, maybe I could see how they were willing to put in the time and effort to properly deliver the story. However, because of this complete disregard, this just ends up being a mess of a film that is very shallow with fairly good voice acting and mildly decent animation. And it's for that reason that I have to very sadly give one of my favorite comics only animated adaptation a very sad 4 out of 10. So those are our thoughts on Injustice. What did you think of this DC animated film? Let us know down in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you want to see even more awesome comic and DC content, check out this video where we recap everything from DC Fandom 2021 in 9 minutes. Or check out this playlist of my weekly History of series where I give you the history of various comic book characters. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.